everybody and welcome to this unboxing and first impressions video on the brand new Bose noise cancelling headphone 700 which from here on out we're just going to be referring to as the Bose 700. Now the first thing I want to address about these headphones has got to be their design. Now just going off of the comments on my last recent post featuring these headphones the 700s have proven to have a rather polarizing design. Some people love it, some people hate it, some people are more down the middle, like me. But now actually getting to see these headphones in person, I gotta admit, I don't hate how they look. They definitely look much sleeker and much different from everything else out there. But definitely during the development of these headphones, somebody in Bose's boardroom went and said, hey, listen, if somebody's gonna be wearing our headphones out in public, we want everybody else to know that they're wearing a pair of Bose headphones. And they've definitely managed to do that because these headphones really do look very different from most other headphones out there, which at the end of the day, most headphones do look very similar to one another. The only headphones that I can think of right now that kind of share some type of resemblance to the Bose 700s is maybe the Bowers and Wilkins PX. But design wise, personally, they're growing on me. But putting aside design, because ultimately that's all subjective, what I'm really interested about these headphones has got to be their build quality and their functionality. Now, one of the things I couldn't help but think when I first took these headphones out of the box was that I don't think the 700s are going to be as rough or as rugged as the QC35s. Now, don't get me wrong, the 700s do have seemingly good build quality and they better because they're $400 headphones, but I do think you're gonna have to take it a little easier on these headphones than you would with the QC35s. C35s. Now, I'm not saying that these headphones are dainty, but definitely you do want to keep them looking fresh. Now, one of the biggest differences between these headphones and the QC35s has got to be the underside of the headband. There's no more Alcantara. It's now all silicone. And when you actually flex the headband, it looks like the headband is morphing a little bit. So it, I, I think it looks cool. It looks like a, it looks a little alien. Now, the top portion of the headband is also silicone. Now, personally, I did think that this top portion was going to be leatherette from uh, the product pictures but it's actually all silicone which it's actually collecting a whole bunch of little fibers no that's not mm, i don't know that's not cool but regardless the 700 still have those trademark super spacious ear cups which are effectively what made the bose qc35s so popular and so comfortable and just like before the 700s do have that same great feeling leatherette as the qc35s and it still feels better than the leatherette found on the 1000 xm3s and it still feels slightly better than the leather I'd found on the new XB900N. But with all that out of the way, I'm actually going to put these headphones on for the very first time. Let's see if these new headphones are as comfortable as the QC35s, or who knows, maybe the, this new yoke design has altered the way these headphones fit and rest on your head. But let's see if these headphones are just as comfortable. Again, they're going to go on my head for the very first time right now. Hold on, we got to stretch this out a little bit. Yeah, I gotta say, they're just as comfortable as the QC35s. Now, personally, I was a little worried that this new yoke design was going to change the way that these headphones rest on your head because they don't have as much range of motion compared to the QC35s or the 1000XM3s. But, you know what? I think my that was my biggest concern about this new design was that the yoke was going to limit or change the way that these headphones rest on your head. But yeah, no, they're still just as comfortable, but I do think they have more clamping force than the QC35s, but definitely still the Bose 700s are still a very pair of super comfortable headphones. Okay, and we're back. Now I've managed to see how I look with these headphones on and right off the bat, one of the things I can say that I'm not really a big fan about these headphones is that how much their headband is sticking out. You know, personally, I would have liked if, the, if this headband 
been a little bit more low profile because a lot of more headphones these days that are starting to come out are much more low profile because let's take for example the 1000 xm3s you can see that they're still they're much more you know low profile compared to the 700s and even the surface headphones hold on you see if i throw these on their headband is super low profile but if we go over to the QC35s, again, these guys have that super, you know, round effect here. They're, they're not as low profile. And if we throw on the 700s, these are still rocking that, um, you know, not as low profile headband. And we're back. Unfortunately, after an hour and a half, maybe two, of trying to get these headphones to connect to their companion app, unfortunately, due to multiple failed connection attempts, I just haven't been able to get the Bose 700s to connect to Bose's new Bose Music app, which is the companion app that you gotta use if you wanna get access to all of the features on these headphones. So since this is a first impressions video, I gotta say that getting these headphones connected to their companion app hasn't been as easy as it typically is with the Bose QC35s and Bose's Connect app. Now, unfortunately, I did wanna give you guys a first look of what the uh, app would look for these headphones, but unfortunately, you're gonna have to wait until the full review hoping that I'm gonna be able to actually get it to work. But the next thing I wanna check out on these headphones has got to be the cabin pressure in their active noise cancellation. Now, I know this might not go for everyone, but for me, the active noise cancellation on the Bose QC35s does cause me some headaches. Now, again, this may not be the case for everybody, but it is for me and it is the case for a lot of people who comment on my videos saying that they also experience a lot of cabin pressure on the uh, Bose QC35s. So right now the 700s are set to zero. So thankfully I can still uh, toggle active noise cancellation on or off directly with the headphones without having to use their companion app. So right now they're at zero and actually I think zero means ambient noise is coming through because I can hear myself perfectly and you know what it, it sounds very natural it doesn't sound very artificial like the ambient modes on some other headphones like let's say for example a pair that might come to mind uh maybe the ambient mode on the jabra elite 85 h's that one does sound a little artificial but here it actually sounds very natural so uh, either way we're gonna go ahead turn on active noise cancellation see if the uh, cabin pressure issue has been fixed Three, two, one. Okay, she so just said ten. And you and you slowly feel a lot of the ambient noise go away. And you know what? I'm not getting any of that uh, cabin pressure that I typically feel with the QC thirty fives. There is still a little something, but it's definitely nowhere near as harsh as the cabin pressure on the uh, Bose QC35s. So again, like I said, this may not be the case for everyone, but one of the biggest complaints that I've always had about the Bose QC35s has been their cabin pressure when you have their A and C set to 10. But here with the 700s, it's definitely not as harsh as it is on the QC35s. And you know, it's definitely much more manageable for me, which is actually a really good thing to see. Now, the last thing that I want to check out on these headphones has got to be their touchpads. Now, this has been rather controversial, again, because the 700s are moving away from physical buttons, like on the uh, QC35s, and instead moving to a touchpad, which granted is just this little section right here. So let's see what the accuracy is like. So we're just going to throw up uh, the phone right there. There's Old Town Road. Let Am I doing this right? Double tap. It's a double tap. Okay. Okay, double tap pauses and plays. Ooh, hold on, that's loud. Huh? Can you? Okay, I'm very used to Sony L lowering and raising the volume. Oh. Oh. Okay, hold on. Let's, can we 
skip, skip. It's, you know, the, oh, hold on. And pause. Okay, there's definitely going to be a learning curve there, but right now with the volume, it only, it looks like you gotta, nope, hold on. You gotta play, and you gotta like go up every step. All right, and pause that. All right, so I think we're gonna leave it at that. So this has been a first impressions video on the new Bose noise canceling headphone 700, AKA the 700s, or maybe they're gonna go by NC 700s, I don't know. But either way, this has been a first impressions video. So like I said, the design of these headphones has, rather, has been rather polarizing, but actually getting to see them in person I think their design is actually starting to grow on me. They're still definitely just as comfortable as the Bose QC35s, but personally, I don't think they're going to be as rugged. But more importantly, the active noise cancellation on these, at least the cabin pressure, has uh, been improved from the Bose QC35s, which is great, but definitely we, I still gotta test them and see how well they do of um, blocking out uh, sound. So, but at least the cabin pressure for some pressure and uh, a lot better. Uh, as for the touchpad, I think the touchpad is a bit too small, but um, maybe there might be a learning curve. Maybe I just got to get used to it because, again, um, I am very used to the touchpad on the uh, Sony 1000XM3s. But overall, the Bose 700s have made a okay first impression on me because again still these headphones do have a lot of hype to live up to especially since you know they're they're not replacing the Bose QC35s but you know it, the bar has already been set and again these headphones do have to do uh, a little better than the Bose QC35s because these guys are going up from $350 to $400 but guys I think we're going to leave it at that um, look out for a few uh, videos on these headphones in the future but other than that I'll catch you guys next time if you made it this far I guess you enjoyed the video so hit that like button and get subscribed it helps out more than you realize if you want to pick any other products up mentioned in this video those will be linked in the description down below and you can also support the channel by checking out the merch store but other than that I'll catch you next time